Well, yeah, that was a bit strange. But, um, my name is Owen, also known as Rhino Vlogs. So, I've decided, yeah, I've done all different categories on YouTube, and I feel that vlogging could be my best. Because I can literally just pick up the camera whenever I want to record and won't mind about what people are doing. See, so at the minute, I'm walking around my living room, wearing my amazing Batman shirt, obviously. But, yeah, I can see both my cats sleeping. So, yeah, I'm hoping to, like, vlog for the next couple of years because things could be happening throughout these years. Just quite big things. I know that there have been little, like, things mentioned of, so... My hair's not done properly. It's a bit... Mm. So, yeah, I'm still just walking around the circle, so I'm just going to be doing daily vlogs. So, I just want to vlog every day. I don't know why I'm walking around the circle, but I'll... Yeah, I want to vlog every day. Maybe I could have, like, little, like... I don't know. But, yeah, I want to vlog every day. Um, Just daily vlogs, just to... So I can take you guys along with me for my, like... What happens to me for the next couple of years. So... See what happens today. How are you doing? Are you yawning? Beady eyes. He seems self reflection. Looking away from the camera. Too busy what? Too busy watching himself. Ugh. It's too bright outside. Oh, another one fast asleep. This time he's on the sofa. He's on one of the cat beds, the one over there. It goes that way. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for some reason I'm in my sister's room now. But. I just gotta show you something. This is a poster for Blackpool Pleasure Beach. See, I have all the rides um, here. You know, like with the Nickelodeon land. Uh, I was checking the bits before, and like, like the camera's like really shaky when I hold it. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just like, see, look, it's like shaking. But yeah, I am actually going here in like a week. So I'm going to like a holiday to England. And yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging that whole time. So just wanted to let you guys know. I have just had lunch with uh, my cat's following me outside apparently. But yeah, I'm with my brother and sister. We're hopefully to get some friends. Sorry, there's someone cutting the grass over there. Oh shit. Yo! Where are you? <laughs> my sister. So we are, um, my cat's following us all the way down the road. But yeah, hopefully we're gonna get some friends. I can't really see if I'm looking at the camera or not because I can't, the brightness is, low um so yeah hello good people on the internet it's boogie 292 yeah. that's copyright <laughs> they're both weirdos and very hyperactive but you know so yeah i had like some egg on toast and to be honest i didn't really like it because i don't like egg so yeah we'll see what happens okay everyone we are on our way to an there is two abandoned estates next to our estate and we're going to one of them so one of them is like one of them is just fun to go to because it's bigger so some bits i'll be filming some bits i won't because i can't be bothered to hold a camera the whole time <laughs> but i'll update you whenever i feel like it basically so we are going to have a tour of this amazing abandoned house there's a lot of overgrown things so yeah, we've got an amazing tour man, also known as Daniel, my brother, so... Right, so as we see, we have the classic 1970s style house. It's a typical suburban style. Um, so as you can see, it's got the nice layer brick. It's got a nice garden wall. It's got the white and the red brick design, which I think really makes it stand out. So as we come through here, it's got a nice garden, not too overgrown. It's just, it's, it's perfect for me. So, as we come here, we can't reach the front door due to the fact we can't reach it. Yeah, I can't think of reach for that reason. So as you come through here, we have pipes coming over my head. Um, and we just have a door, a nice little tiny wall, and where we keep our oil. So as we come through here, we have to keep we have to open the front door, or back door, 
and here we have a decent space. Over here would be where the dining room usually is. It's not very big, but it's decent size. And here we have the kitchen with nice paintwork, as you can see. Nice design on the counters and not very much rubbish left anywhere. No problems with the wall at all. And here we have a hole where if you have a child called Harry, you can keep them in there and they've got to be wizards. So you come through here and we have a curtain on the floor just for nice interior design. In here we have a dead bird on the windowsill. That is one of Santa's helpers, it's a robin. Or it looks like a chaffinch. It's a robin. And we Feathers also have are on the floor. an electric fireplace, which doesn't look very realistic. It looks like some like first year high schoolers volcano project. And we have a fireplace where Santa has obviously got stuck at the bottom, so he broke his way through. And yeah, um, as we make our way upstairs, we just see boxes <gasps> in the front. Yeah, it's dead. Oh yeah, I saw that a while ago. We have a nice Mr. T Spidey on the thing. I thought it was dead. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and then we have boxes in the porch, and as you can see, since it's not overgrown, we can't we can get we can't get in. Yes, that doesn't make any sense. So let's come here up here. <laughs> we noticed the nice design around here and around here. And the beautiful ceiling. And we noticed the fly and we noticed the ceiling as a nice molly design. So as Hold we your come breath. Here, we turn to our right, we look up and we see a bed. <laughs> then we come through here and we notice a room that is perfectly fine and has great, great, great living conditions. I would 10 out of 10 recommend this room. As we have a deer, we have a haunted room to your right with a baby cradle in it. And this room is said to be haunted by a girl. This, this, this is the only bit in the video that I'm not joking about. This room is supposed to be haunted and this house is supposed to be haunted. And where we live in our estate, we have this paranormal club. And if you look at that window there, that window right there, that window is said to, people have said to have seen a figure of a young girl looking through that window. So yeah, in here, I, I just heard someone like rattling. We have a nice bathroom. Not too many spiders. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I'm and there we have a bathroom with period pads behind the, the toilet. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it for this house tour. If you're looking to buy this house, I believe it's £200 on the market. And it's very, very cheap, but very, very good quality. So, yeah, thank you for this house tour. Ding! Well, guys, in fact, I had a better idea. That is going to be my first ever giveaway. Like, best condition house. I'm going to be, like, the best person ever to give a giveaway. All you need to do is come to address question mark, postcode question mark, um a number question mark a small of million dollars. and yeah if you manage to find it if you manage to, the first person to get here gets to keep the house and it's called the rhino house now yeah well yeah so we coming back for the abandoned place we didn't really do much we just sat around and like tried to find something new but we couldn't so i didn't vlog it because it was boring so now we're going back to my house and see what we can find to do. Hi. Batman v Superman, bro. Yeah, guys, it's late. I have to be quiet because it's just like bedtime for most people in the house, even though it's quite light outside. But, you know, yeah, this is the end of my first vlog. Um, well, that's because I'm looking like at the recording while they're looking at the camera. So, yeah. Just ending off here. We had great. F we didn't really do much today. It was just wandering around. So yeah, I'll see you guys the next daily vlog. Bye.